All right, so it turns out we are going to do three videos today instead of four because I was starting to actually do the mount. Uh, I don't even know why I mentioned those assholes name. Uh, I was going to do the project for the previous miner, but it turns out it's actually run by the Paramount Staker scammers who uh, have obviously a very toxic community. Uh, you know, they caused a lot of problems on my YouTube, so I decided just to remove it, just give them what they want. All right, which I don't like doing because I don't like giving terrorists basically what they want. Uh, and not surprisingly, I checked the staker and then, yeah, it's contract balance is zero. So, like, these scamming F-words, you know, are at it again. So, you know, it's like, you know what, there's no point in me making a FUD video about it because it'll be the same problem, even though I'm actually correct. And then it's like, you know what, whatever, you know, just not cover it. All right. So, with that being said... This, I'm actually not really sure what this is, uh, because it seems to be some kind of like hybrid project. So we're just going to do the research in real time and take a look. So first things first, there's a chart of VC, right? I mean, it uses this thing. Uh, I, you know what? Let's see. This is on Binance Smart Chain. Good. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like poo coin charts because there's just way too much distraction. Um, and like those distractions don't help me with anything. This thing, deck screen is actually just so much more cleaner. All right. So obviously this coin is literally just popping off. Now it's obviously having some kind of uh, correction, right? Because, you know, you don't go straight up. Except LockPay. LockPay has been doing pretty well, but I'm actually kind of expecting it to have a correction at some point. So it'll be interesting to see what will happen with the... 1% or 5% or whatever the limit is. I mean, a lot of people gave me some different tidbits about how LockPay's maximum sell limit per 24 hours works, but for now, I just assume 1 to 5. I assume 5% dumping, but I personally sell 1%, right? Just to make sure I keep everything into perspective and I don't, like, you know, call, uh, actually, I should maybe put the thing over here, you know, and then find myself, you know, calling my pants down, you know, financially. Valuable Coins is a low supply deflationary BEP20. Okay, so this was no pre-sale, venture capitalist funding, or any, uh, oh no, okay. So the initial and max supply of VC is just 60,100 coins. Over time, you just buy, sell, make transfers and stake VC. The supply will be taking out circulation, which in theory should, okay, so this is actually a really good project right off the bat. When a user stakes their VC tokens, they will earn 1.5% a day with an APY of 265% minus any token tax. The 1.5% will be paid. Make sure you guys can read this and get out. The 1.5% will be paid. I have to make this bigger, man. Great. And then it messes up the website if I do that. The 1.5% will be paid out in VC coins, meaning that the price of VC goes up, the overall payout in USD also increases. Well, yeah, because you're getting paid in VC, so obviously you're just going to dump your VC. Users cannot withdraw the initial deposit. We'll get their initial deposit in 67 days. And the rest of... What? Okay, and then you receive the rest. 298 days will be... Okay, so... VC has the ability to implement reflection tokenage, however, because we offer a high APY staking initially, our user will not turn on the reflection until the staking contracts can no longer pay out rewards to users. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, at some point, this thing is going to run out of money because there's only 60100 Okay, so how does this actually work? Okay, so there's a 2% staking fee. Uh, okay. Ooh. So I think when you deposit your money in here, they take a 2% tax. I think that's what they're saying about the minor portion. 1% of every transaction will be burnt. Okay. 80% of the tokens will be deposited to the pancake swap liquidity pool. Okay. 10%, can you see this? Yeah, 10% of the tokens to initial staking pool 60,000 6,010 tokens will be placed in the smart contract to pay out this thing okay all right i get it now 
Five percent for future awards. Three thousand is being locked for ninety-five days. It will be used as a backup for the staking rewards. Okay. 1% to their marketing wallet, and then of course 4% for the developers to, you know, do with, but they have to wait two years for their money. All right, so this definitely looks pretty legit. Yeah, I don't really care about the roadmap, so, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why people look at roadmaps, because you know that, like, first of all, it's far in the future, and you can't predict the future, unless you're me. And number two, things always change. All right, I mean, it's like, I don't know, it's just literally a waste of time, right? Because when have you ever actually noticed that of all the pro millions of pro crypto projects you've ever done, they followed the roadmap, right? And even if they followed the roadmap, it, the project still fails. So why did you waste your time, you know? So, like, that's my point. So, but with that being said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out and math this out in my head. Okay. So, all right, so first things first, I think if you get in early enough on this, you should be able to earn your money. Okay, so this does say, did they say there was an early withdrawal penalty? I mean, I don't think there is because the daily APR is very low, so there's really no need for a tax of that sort. Early withdrawal tax, that is. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, yeah, so I think you can just get your money back. Now, remember, I think they did say that there's a 2%... They did say it was a 2% staking fee. So I assume when you put, like... Let's say you put in 100 VC coins. That's a lot of money, actually, I think. Right? You're actually only getting back 98 as a stake because 2% is taken out by this 2% staking fee tax. I think that's what it is. Now, they, now, according to this, they have not turned on the reflection token portion, but they only do it when the, all the rewards run out. So that could take some time. Okay. Uh, so this is a very interesting concept. What do I really think? Do, you, do I really think? No, oh, they're sticking details. What does this button do? Okay, I have nothing in here, so that button doesn't do anything. Uh, it's actually a really tough call because once this reward pool runs out, yeah, that's the thing. Hmm. Excuse me. If this, if the reward pool runs out, what happens if you're like the last guy that deposited money in? I mean, how do you get your money out? Because there's no more coins coming back in, right? Now let me think. There's a VC coin. There's no wallet, so not really. So everything goes back into Pancake Swap, and then people will buy from Pancake Swap. To put it back into here and then there might be yeah that's the only thing how do they <clears throat> look at the taxes again okay yeah i don't know i mean i want to i really want to say this will be around for a long time but the problem is i think what happens if there's no more reward pool and then your money is still stuck in here and you didn't get back your initial? I mean, that's like the only kind of concern here. Because uh, most of the tokens are in the pancake swap liquidity pool. We uh, have uh, initial rewards run out. Throughout the years, five percent, because because this is an allocation for everything. Ninety percent, ninety-five, a hundred, a hundred and one, a hundred and three percent. So, okay, so this is the actual thing. These things affect. Yeah, these this thing's not organized properly. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they would have to unlock the liquidity so they could just take the coins out of here and put it back in, but which, of course, that causes a different problem. Yeah. But with, this, with that being said, I think this probably just came out. So... Wow. They've actually been around for a while, it looks like. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever the case is, 
in the short to medium term, it should do very well, especially if this chart's in any, any indicator. It's actually making quite a bit of money. I mean, yeah, just 30, 30 and a half coins or so is already $600. And I'm so, we're so used to doing Titano forks that I keep thinking there's a buy and sell tax, but there's no tax, right? It's only when you deposit the coin. So, I don't know. I personally don't want to deal with the event eventually in the future when <clears throat> the initial reward pool runs out because I need to see some more. Because eventually, because they just they just took a bunch of coins and they just locked it away, but there doesn't seem to be a way to refill it afterwards. So they kind of need to work on that. So, I don't know. I guess that's up to the dev. All right. So because of that, I don't want to deal with it. Um, but all that being said, I mean, one and a half percent for up to 265, I mean, it takes a while to get your money back too. Like the thing said, it takes 67 days. So, I mean, you could withdraw and compound to, you know, you could do that too, but I don't know. It's a very interesting concept. Uh, it's basically combining a ro like rocket science zone with a minor project. That's, that's what this thing basically is. <clears throat> You know, but, you know, this is uh, extra work for me to personally do, and I have to keep track of the token, so uh, I'll probably pass. Actually, I will be passing, but with that being said, I mean, I like seeing, you know, some kind of something different, right? Because eventually something's going to work pretty well, right? So, yeah. But anyway, check out Valuable Coins. It definitely is doing what they said they'll do. And in, again, in the, short to, in the short term, for sure, this thing will do really well. Medium to long term, you know, it's going to be a problem because people are going to kind of figure out that there doesn't seem to be a way to refill the reward pool, so that could cause problems. Or maybe there is a way, and then it's not being mentioned here in the front. So, hmm, it's project details. Ah, this is their white paper. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Okay. Well, then again, I mean, everything's so small. Maybe this could last for a couple of years. I mean, that's what their white paper here says. But, yeah, I mean, the thing is, all of the token. Yeah, if someone could buy a bunch of all the pancake swap tokens and then drain the reward pool before everyone else. That's the only real danger. So, yeah, okay. So I can't, okay, but I still don't see a way that this thing gets refilled. They're just relying on the initial tokens, and that seems to be it. So, all right, I mean, good luck to the devs on that. But, um, but on the other hand, it is deflationary, so that is going to actually, actually, I would probably say it's hyper-deflationary. So, so, so the price could go down because of, like, project problems, but then the price will go up because it's deflationary. So, you know... I mean, I don't really want to play that game, and I have to do it very far in the future. So it's like, eh, whatever. But with that being said, I mean, I think this should uh, still do ver uh, pretty good, right? Very well in the short term. So if you want to try try this, you know, you know, go for it. Um, yeah. But with that being said, yeah, there's a fifteen percent referral fee too. So with that being said, I think we're done for projects for today. Uh, like, subscribe. Share this video around. Thank you again to all the old and new people watching this video. And uh, yeah, let's uh, keep growing the channel because I rely on you to spread the word and stuff. So it's kind of funny. I see a bunch of a-holes just downvoting my videos for some reason, right? I don't know why, but the channel keeps growing. So I do appreciate, you know, you know everyone uh, contributing to the growth of the channel. And of course, the jerk, a-hole, toxic pricks that downvote, hopefully they just never come back. So... Yeah, I mean, that's the problem with the crypto space. There's just a lot of uh, assholes in this space, and I really don't like that. But, um, you know, I personally would prefer they just remove the dislike button altogether. I mean, I don't know. Like, YouTube has already been moving towards that, so I don't know why they don't remove the button to begin with so people can't download it, All right? You know, there's a reason why social media only has like buttons, like Facebook and Twitter. They don't have a download button, All right? There's a reason for that. You know, so, you know, oh, well, whatever. All right, so next video is going to actually be Ethereum. I probably want to talk about that real quick, just start ranking for something. And something I kind of want to decide to do, but I think, I think, I, I think we'll be fine because if it does what I think it does, we all get the benefit anyway. 
and ultimately sphere will go back up, right? It gets, you know, rising tide floats all boats, but that same t rising, that same tide can also sink all boats. <laughs> so that's exactly how crypto works. All right, anyway, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching, and of course, check out Valuable Coins, uh, ValuableCoinToken.com. I guess someone actually owns ValuableCoins.com. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a gold and silver selling website or something. Yeah.